Well, today's competition is brought to you by Bartlow's Barbecue. And here are the contestants. Bison 420 Air Lighter compared to, that's right, Kamado's Electric Lighter. Let's go. Well, hey guys, welcome back to Bartlow's Barbecue. And today I wanna to share a comparison between, that's right, the Kamado uh, Electric Lighter compared to the Bison 420 Air uh, Blower. Uh, and lighter. Pretty cool uh, on both fronts and I'm going to share some things that I like about each of them and things that I don't like about uh, each of them as well and you can decide which one serves your purpose. So the first one uh, I want to let you know is that I've got starting with, uh, by the way, I'm using Kamado Joe's big blocks to um, light our fires today. <clears throat> and I'm starting with the Kamado electric uh, uh, lighter. So obviously uh, the pro is it's better than having to uh, use any other alternatives for lighting something uh, manually or with a lighter or whatnot with a fire starter. Uh, you also um, have the benefit of it being electric. You plug it in and you could just leave it and uh, put it in there and drop it in the box and then leave and come back about 10 minutes for it to really fully heat to kind of get a spark of the uh, charcoal. Uh, and the big blocks to get the fire going. And you can open up your vents and then you got great airflow. And then all of a sudden you've got a really good fire at the temperature that you might need. So that's some things I really do like about it. Uh, the things that um, are negative in my opinion is after a year to two year use, um, you can see that the rubber wiring on the back of the electric lighter has kind of broken uh, apart and that you can see the wires which is very concerning and so for long-term use that's one negative I've noticed of having tremendous amount of use on it I mean it's really served my purpose it still has served my purpose to get a fire going uh, in the Kamado but that is the pros and the cons I really have loved the Kamado electric lighter it is super easy to use you plug it in you put it in the box and you let it sit for about 10 minutes and all of a sudden you've got a wonderful fire. And next up I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, once this thing gets lit up and then we'll compare it to the Bison 420. You can start seeing the sparks um, going using this electric lighter and a little bit of smoke starting to come to the surface. Here, a little crackly and like I said it takes about a full 10 minutes to get this thing going all right next up in the ring is the bison 420 air lighter and blower hey the first thing I really like about this is that it is cordless it makes it portable so if you're lighting a campfire or a charcoal or a Kamado or whatever, it's perfect. That's a really cool thing about the Bison uh, air blower and lighter. Other thing is it's really, uh, it's got a great shape to it. It's big. Some You could call that a con as well if it's too big for you. But I really like the size. Uh, it feels really good in the hand, easy to hold. Also, uh, really easy to light. So you can see that there's the right uh, ignite uh, button here and all you got to do is push it to the right and then push this button up this red button up Just like this and we've got fire. And then we let that go and once you get your fire going after we put it in the pit Then you're gonna turn on the air blower And that's just gonna get uh, The oxygen to the charcoal and the fire and you're gonna be able to produce a fire and literally 60 seconds. So that's a positive. It's something I like about it. A negative is that it's also uh, battery uh, operated, but you also has um, a USB that you can plug in to charge as well. So uh, those are a few, few positive, a few negatives. And over time, I'll let you know how this keeps up. But so far, uh, those are the comparisons. Let's see how this handles the ring compared to the Kamado Electric. Here we go. go. 
goes. And just for one more time, I just want to get this side going, get that fire going. Hey guys, a uh, pretty awesome tool. As you can see, we lit up the Kamado. There are some great advantages and disadvantages here. You saw in action, uh, it's a real review that I was having trouble uh, keeping the ignition on, even keeping my thumb on it. It would go on and off. That might be just a safety measure, but also it has a red uh, dial here that you can turn up the flame low or high. So I turned it up high towards the end. Didn't capture that on video, but now, uh, at its high position, you can see what that flame looks like too. Pretty cool, love it. So anyways, that kind of shows you what the advantages are. And overall, we've got a great fire going. Uh, hopefully you can decide which one you like better, the Bison uh, 420 or the uh, Kamado Electric Lighter. Both great products, I'll continue to use both of them. Uh, one advantage here is again, it take, this takes, uh, and it's also a disadvantage, it takes butane. So if you run out and you gotta make sure you stock up on that. So if you're in big fire and you run out and you didn't really get it going, uh, you might need to stock up on that just in case. And I also found that certain butane uh, cans don't work with this. Uh, and you need to purchase a certain type that has a little longer uh, stick in it to get inside uh, the bison hole there to put the butane in. So overall, I hope you enjoyed this. If you enjoy these videos, definitely subscribe uh, to the channel. would love to hear your comments, your thoughts, what's working for you uh, when it comes to charcoal lighting. Uh, and if you like uh, either one of these products, I'd love to know it. Also researched other type of things like loof lighters. So maybe that's a product you use. would love to know what you think about that. But again, uh, thanks for tuning in. I'd love for you to share a comment. Let me know what you think. Share with a friend. Be sure to hit that notification button too. Have a great day.